Hi, welcome to In The Workshop, I'm David. A couple of weekends ago, I bought this second hand, this grinder, this whetstone. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out a way of sharpening my chisels on it. Having something, because there's no rests or anything that's come with that. So I'm just trying to come up with some bits uh, of bracketry. I found on YouTube a video for making this jig for sharpening chisels. And that was Marius Hornberger. So if you go and check him out, I'll put a link down in the description, but you can print off these plans for making this plywood jig for sharpening your uh, turning chisels. And he's got a video to show you how he put it together. But really this is for a grinder without the trough. So it's ideal for like the grinding wheel there because you would have some angle sticking out there where this sits in with a stop and that's what uh, you would swivel on. But I want it to go on this on my whetstone that I've got here. So what I'm doing this evening is making up some bracketry to uh, go on the end here so I can sit this jig into here. There was this piece of metal on here, this bracket just that one there so I'm just fitting things to it because what my plan is I can have that fixed on there with the two screws and then I'm thinking about fitting some angle on there welding it onto that for this to swivel in so weld that into there weld a stop in there and at the angle that I want. This whetstone was in a poorly state, but uh, I can't argue for £30, that's all it cost. I don't know, it looks like it might be a German make or something, I don't know, I can't make a lot of that out. It says ITA. This. Say this whetstone was really grooved in the middle, but what I used to dress it, I just used one of these uh, diamond sharpening plates, just a cheap one. And just use that to keep going across the top while it's going and manage to get the groove out so it's lovely and flat again. So I've welded that angle iron onto that bracket. Still really hot. So my plan is now just to tighten this in position. That angle iron's in nice and in line with the uh, grinding wheel. So now what I've got to do is find out where I'm going to put a stop just there. I could just clamp a piece, clamp something on there, but I don't know, I might just weld something in to hold it so that this is at 45 degrees. Changed my mind. I'm not going to weld something just there because this sits lovely there. I'm going to test it. I was just getting this piece of wood and I was clamping it onto here because I was going to check that it does the angle right being at that position. So this is a piece of walnut and I just put it on there like that ready and then I thought oh that sits lovely there and there's already some holes drilled in here in this angle line on this side so there's a hole right just there. So I think what I'm going to do is just Drill that through there and screw that in place there. And then I've always got the option to move this about if I want. 
So that'll do because it's only to as a stop. So I've got this spindle gouge in there. I'll put it through two inches like you do with the proper jigs. And so that should be 45 degrees there. So I'm going to try it. We'll get it going. Try that. See what the tip looks like. And if it's okay, I'll screw that in position. Just there. So just put black marker on the end. And then I can stick this on the grinder and rotate it and then you can see where the grinder's touched and where it hasn't. So there you can see black on the tip there. Still a bit there, but it doesn't matter about that. It's just going up and there's some still some black on there. So all I've got to do is keep going till I get rid of that marker pen. And then I know that I'm right up to the top. And I have to try and get these edges, these corners, so they're, conca uh, so they're concaved. Going around like that and make sure they're not dipping in. This chisel that I've just put in here should be quick to do because there's a big angle on there. So when I do this 45 degree angle, that's just going to be on the tip there. just left a bit of the black on there but the edge is all uh, at 45 degrees right let's see how well it's sharpened these then see if they work okay Lovely. Yep, so is that. Wonderful. Smooth as anything. Well, I'm well pleased with them. the bowl turning gouge Let's see how that works well 
don't play. So the fire's gone out and my nose is cold, so that must be a sign that I need to go in. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you like the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. So I'll see you next time in the workshop. Take care.